Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, <clears throat> I just want to share something real quick that uh, that I believe is very um, powerful and very um, encouraging. And uh, you know, first I just want to say it is a and it, it is just an honor to be a servant of the Lord and uh, to allow Him. To use you or, or me uh, uh, to help encourage others and to help them out. So, but um, and, and like, uh, oh, God allows us to go through through things for a reason. And um, you know, I, I mentioned before, you know, I have been going through a, a rough patch here for a while, but um, nevertheless, God is good all the time. And um, but I just want to share something real quick um, before I read scripture. So, um, I was coming back home from a friend of mine's house, and, uh, I don't know, some of y'all may know the song, uh, called So Will I, by, uh, 100 Billion X. <clears throat> so, very powerful song, very anointed song, and, um, so, as that song came on, you know, it's just like, when that song comes on, it's just like, man, you know, I saw worshiping God to it, and it's just, it's so powerful. And then, um, and then I start, like, just, I just start crying, you know, sitting here in, my, in the parking space and uh, here at the house, and uh, I just start crying. And when I start crying, then I just, it's like the spirit was just like, just started, the Holy Spirit just started taking over, and then he just started to, to speak, you know, uh, uh, speaking in tongues, you know, he just started to, it was like I was just crying, like, I don't know how to put it, like the spirit was crying out to the, you know, to God, like, he was just, he was interceding on my behalf, best way to put that, he was interceding on my behalf because we not know what we ought to pray for, but then the Holy Spirit speaks on our behalf. That's a scripture, but I don't know how, what, you know, within my heart exactly where it's at. <laughs> anyway, so, <clears throat> so, you know, it was just very powerful, and I was just praying. I mean, and I, I was crying, and the Spirit was just praying, and then I, I started to hear, like, stand up, you know, and I, but I continued to, like, uh, just cry and spare continues to pray and I keep hearing uh, stand up and finally you know the Lord was like son stand up so naturally I can't stand up in my car so I open up my car door and I stand up and the Lord says look at the stars so I look at the stars and then my eyes just focus on this one star <clears throat> and God says I have made you into a bright and shiny star so and I just started crying. The reason why I started crying was because, you know, everything everything that's going on, you know, really that a lot of people don't know. So, um, and God, but it, it's just amazing to know that God, like really when I was just started crying, it's like I felt that one, like God, like you really, really know what I'm going through. Like really know. And it just, really, that's when I started breaking, breaking down and just started crying. And then, and when the spirit just started praying on my behalf, you know, and the guy telling me, get up, and I get up, and he says, look at the stars, and my, and my eyes focus on those one star, and he says, I have made you into a bright and shining star. Throughout all of the trials, throughout all the tribulations, throughout all the, everything that we go through, God is... God has a reason and a plan and a purpose for it. Let Romans 8, 20, for all things work together for our good. And it doesn't feel good. No, it don't one bit. But ultimately, God has a reason and a plan and a purpose for it. And when I, you know, when it tells me to look at the stars and to look at that star, you know, I started thinking, you know, that a star that he had me focus on, it wasn't like the most brightest star in the sky. And, you know, man, when they're looking for stars in space, they, they pass up all the stars that are not so bright. Like looking for the North Star. <clears throat> and that just made me think that, you know, they're missing, they're, they're missing, you know, all the other stars, though, that are not so lit up. 
But the star that the Lord had me to focus on, it wasn't so lit up. But it makes me think that God, God sees me as a bright, shining star. Like man will just look past people because of certain things that their life are not so bright, you know. You know, man would just just pass people up, but God, he doesn't pass people up. He had me focus on that not so shiny star for a reason, just to show me that, hey, you're bright in my eyes. You're shiny in my eyes. I don't look past you. I see what you're going through. I love you, and I will always love you. <clears throat> so, God doesn't pass us up. If God says, if God has complete control, and if he says, I'm going to have this star up here, I'm going to have you up here. If I have this star shining, I'm going to have you shining. People may look past this star, but I don't look past this star. I know this star. I have a name for this star. And God doesn't look past us. God knows me. He knows what I'm going through. He knows my name. <clears throat> and God knows what you're going through. He knows your name. And he is making you into a bright and shining star too. You may think God don't know. You may think God overlooks you. But he don't. Oh, he don't. Nothing is hidden from him at all. Nothing. <clears throat> And you don't need to hide anything from God. You know, if, if 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 what I'm going through, me, if what I'm going through, and only God, you know, and, and another one person very close to me that knows, and God still says, I love you, and God's continuing to wrap his arms around me, and just like the other day, I talked about the goodness that God done for me. God is still continuing to take care of me, to, to bless me, to wrap his arms around me, and to show me like he did tonight. Hey, I love you. I know what you're going through. Look at the stars. You are a bright and shiny star. So, <clears throat> nothing that we go through is... um. For waste that God has a plan a reason for it and it's one scripture right here that I just want to read to y'all and um, I'm probably close out this video because of my storage in my phone like really I gotta <laughs> delete a lot of stuff but uh, it says that in Psalms 46 10 be still and know that I am God I will be exalted among the heathen Meaning nations, I will be exalted in the earth, and that's a very powerful uh, scripture. As uh, the first part to be, and it's a very famous scripture: to be still and know that I am God. And uh, I'll just read the bottom text. Um, maybe it'll help someone. In my Bible, it says, "The in the original language, the instruction to be still and know that I am God." <coughs> It's less a suggestion than an emphatic command. The intent is not quiet down and you discover God's presence, but rather quit what you're doing right now and acknowledge who God is. Um, quit what you're doing right now and acknowledge who God is. <clears throat> Meaning that Whatever we have going on in our life, whatever circumstances, whatever may be hindering us, um, <clears throat> whatever the enemy may be bringing against us, uh, and this is what the Lord has really been showing me a lot right now. It's just, 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 you know, while, you know, not too far back, he was telling me, just accept what is, and now I'm just really just trusting and the whole situation of what's going on. You know, because he is in control. And really standing on what his word says. But, and I heard uh, a pair, the church I went to, 
and they had a prophet. Let's see if I can find it right here. They had a prophet that um that came and, and gave a word. <coughs> and this is real good. Y'all excuse me, I still got that cough a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna just read this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close out the video. Um, everything happens for a reason. And one thing that that, that prophet said this morning was that God wants to develop your character. And that's so true. That really is true because I believe that's one thing that God is doing in me right now, through me right now, is <clears throat> as God is preparing me and getting me ready in this wilderness. So, and God wants to develop our character, and the, and the prophet pretty much put it in a very comical way. Is that everyone wants the Holy the Holy Ghost helicopter to to come and get them out? And God says, "No, I want you in this for a reason because I want to mold you, I want to shape you, I want to melt you, I want to develop your character. I have a reason and a plan, a purpose for it. And even though, man, yeah, I wish I, you know, yes, I wish God would have taken me out." But I know it's for the best. It, he has to happen for a reason. I know God is developing me. Does it feel good? No, it don't. But nevertheless, not my will, but his will be done. And we had to really just come, <clears throat> like God has been showing, just come to the, the, the point of just accepting what is and, and what God has been going through and just trust him that he's going to take care of everything while still, condoring, still continuing to do what he's called me to do. And I see it. <clears throat> I really do. <clears throat> I see it. Uh, I see God teaching me a lot. I see God molding me a lot. Um, I see God just continuing to, you know, elevate me. But uh, he, he's also been showing me to elevate at a slower growth than at a faster growth. Because if I elevate more at a faster growth, then I'm going to miss the things that God has for me. Uh, so I had to elevate more at a slower growth. Meaning as don't keep going ahead of what, you know, of what God has me doing. Uh, I have to really just be still and, and acknowledge him and do what he's telling me to do, but not getting ahead of what God wants me to do. So it, it's meaning as in uh, just being still, letting God take care of everything. And when God says go, then I go. When God says don't go, no, I don't go. So that's mainly what it is, and um, I just want to encourage someone on this video uh, and, and to know that, hey, um, you are a bright and shining star in God's eyes. He hasn't forgotten about you. Um, just be still and know that he is God. He is in control, and uh, know wherever he has you at, he has it for a reason and a plan of purpose, and it is for your good. So praise the Lord. Um, Y'all be blessed and encouraged. God loves y'all very much, uh, so much that it's more than we can possibly comprehend. So that, that's a very beautiful thing uh, to know. Um, so yeah, all right, so y'all just be blessed and encouraged, and I hope this will help someone else out. And if y'all want, share it to um, to bless someone else as, as well, uh, because that's the main reason why I do these videos is to uh, hopefully uh, through my life and through what God does through me uh, will help to show y'all that if God is doing it, you know, for me and uh, that he, God can do it for y'all too, you know, to know that um, God loves y'all as much um, and equally as he loves all of us as his, as his sons and daughters. And uh, I pray this video will be a blessing in someone's life to um, bring you closer to the Lord. And that's the main reason. All right, y'all be blessed and have a great night.